Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video today we're checking out Larry Bird trash talking. So recently I've been doing a lot of basketball reactions, kind of learned about the game so I don't really know anything about it and not really much about the players. So we react to Larry Bird trash talking. I recently react to his mixtape and he's really, really good and entertaining player. So let's hear him trash talk. I do like trash talking because it kind of makes it more interesting, especially when you can back it up. So let's listen to this video right now. So we playing him in the last, the last play. He says uh, to James Worthy, he says, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over there at that corner. <laughs> he said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ? the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. The man curled right to the corner. Caught the shot. <laughs> shot a three. And <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? See, wait, I can't believe he actually did what he said. Like, sometimes you trash talk, but he actually backed it up with facts. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> shake his hand. I'm a rookie. I'm playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. I'm going to shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. Oh, uh -huh. my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in this league, Holmes. And he Damn. shoots a three. Now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. But I said, did this some bitch this called me Holmes? <laughs> 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 and, he, and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the break net pitch, and I jump up, and I throw it down on him. Right? I mean, he fouls me. And he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's who he was. But that was the only time he ever talked trash to me because he respected me because he knew. Yeah, I like that. It kind of brought that guy, kind of motivated him to try even harder to prove Larry wrong. I kind of like that. That's a good story. That I was going to keep coming. That mm -hmm. really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I always tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. <laughs> I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you put I, I, on him? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. But he, says, he says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He Leverett told Robert Reedy the other state that he should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> that was funny. He had 50 points. And you know, Larry Burr ain't never played no great defense. He like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. I'm not wearing about guard. I said, man, shoot it in the face. Shoot it. Mark hit a three-pointer on Larry on Larry Bird and uh, and said and said and said take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three three three-pointers in a row and just basically basically said to him, and we all heard it that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me. Oh, okay, that's kind of flex on the other guy. The other guy's like, yo, look at my three-pointer. He does it three times. He gets it three times. And then, yeah, Trash Talks back. That's what I like because, obviously, basketball, any sport is very competitive. You kind of need it, but there's obviously a lot of good sportsmanship and respect between the players, even if they are trash talking. Give me the ball or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. The baller went to Larry and Isaiah was all out of, out of whack. He had the ball at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around, he just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, oh, he ran out there and just shot it, three-pointer. Too late. He was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just going up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast, he's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. He was, was playing mind tricks with these guys. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. Coach took me <laughs> out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him, he tells me, he says, fly, bird. And, he, and I go right by him, he shoots the ball, it's nothing but nylon. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird, 
Oh, that, oh, oh, yeah, I remember seeing that. That's a crazy shot. There was a certain confidence you had. That's crazy. Because you know, if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way. And he delivered. The double team in Bird. Larry, Craig, fall away. Do you remember? Well, you had the bird night. I had the bird New night. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a tough night, man. Best, you know, best. the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. <laughs> you know? yeah. you, nobody was guarding bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. You know, but when, when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots, uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally says, um, left side <laughs> over uh, across the three. And you're listening to him. That's that's a tough filler. But, okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For, and, and Andy Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it was so a, good. It was the greatest film session ever because that back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and mike rewound the celebration 20 times he just kept re not the shot he just kept rewinding it showing the guys you remember they're giving each other high five and then and then somebody falls off the bench yeah too, that was eddie johnson yeah too, that was eddie it, johnson yeah eddie johnson falls off the bench in laughter uh and antoine carr and cliff gives each other high five and our film session was 20 <laughs> minutes of that <laughs> So, so wait, I'm a bit confused. You're not allowed to celebrate when you get a point or celebrate other players. I'm a bit confused about that. So you guys have to explain that in the comment section below. I'm a bit confused. It, it, was, it wasn't <laughs> it, somebody not playing good defense no, on Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh, like, and it, it, it was... Uh, I think Bird oh. went by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. yeah, he, <laughs> yeah he I remember that seeing one. that. that I'm pretty he sure. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass, into the trainer. And, uh, <laughs> no way. Yeah, and so um, it was a bad night. And when Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball, he said, every shot was going in. Goodbye, she's gone. I guess the two-pointer was too close. And when he ran by the bench, he goes, that's a heat check. Just see how hot I am. All right, it runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, Hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? He goes, Nobody out here can. <laughs> Frank looked down at the bench and goes, No. Oh, he actually said no. Uh, he didn't look at you like, Hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, Hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to guard me because I'm killing this guy. In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. You can see this playing a little Bird giving it back to him kind. Chuck Person can talk some trash to Larry Bird. Now. Okay, this game looks tense. The last 16 points. Chuck and Larry down low, greeting one another once again. Oh, that was a good shot. A denial. That was a good save, man. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we've always had run-ins, but uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word has made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form, and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. High game, 13 seconds to play, Celtics basketball, no shot clock. They called the time out, he said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And then the time out, I'm going for a play, and I tried this for more run. All right, uh, then she got the ball, you go over here, and... Uh, uh, you know, pass to Kevin, then you go to the corner, and why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? <laughs> you know, after the time out, we walk back on the court, Larry's going down to his position, so he tells the baby, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here, I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Yes. Two seconds on the clock. And you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I walked back to the left side line like, damn. Larry. That is a crazy phrase to say. That's just like, 
That's just flexing on everyone. I didn't mean to leave two seconds left. That is a cold line. I like that. Just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time. Larry was complaining to the refs, and I was complaining to the refs. And the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. That's how I summarize it. The that is very impressive. Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, including Larry Bird, and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. As oh. if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. he got a poor hamstring. That's a crazy story about Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan... He is incredible, man. I reacted to his mixtape as well. Like, Michael Jordan, one of the most famous basketball players of all time. A legend, of course. But to, like, kind of treat him like everyone else. Treat him, like, not try and, you know, treat him different from everyone else. Trying to be, like, super nice. He, he's just saying, nah, you got you kind of got to earn the ball back. Like, I ain't just going to give it to you because you're Michael Jordan. You got to take it back. I like that. So I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing. But I, he said, I'm going to tell you what, since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. So you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. I want to hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. <laughs> Every time he hit one, he look at me. I remember we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot, but KC called timeout. Okay. Boston had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench and, you know, he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, hey, guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the I remember spot. this one I'm from the mixtape. He told Washington, I'm going to get the ball. Yeah. Two seconds left. Two the seconds left as well. Aims to bird. It gets and it goes in. in. That's just mind-blowing to witness. Getting the point. Getting it disallowed and then getting the point again. Wow. So I like this video is about Larry Bird trash talking, of course, and he kind of did it in like a fun way, obviously saying I'm the best, like obviously getting trying to get in their minds kind of. It's not mean spirited. Some people do take trash talking too far. If you're like talking about people's family members, taking it way too far. But his one, he kind of did it in like a nice fun way. And it was obviously coming from a place of respect. And you can see they all respect him as well because he also tra he also trash talk. He said, I'm going to get all these points. I'm going to do this. And then he did it. Some people trash talk and they can't back it up. But this guy, Larry Bird, he seems to back it up. So this video, very entertaining, especially the Michael Jordan story. And a lot of legends in this video were giving him their, their respects, which I love to see. I love to see the fact that because to be in the NBA, you obviously need to be a, an amazing basketball player just to even get there. So... There's obviously a mutual respect among all the players. And they're obviously having a bit of fun trash talking. And it's a very competitive sport, of course. So if you guys want more reaction videos like this, drop a like on the video. And let me know more Larry Bird videos. Check out because this video is very entertaining. I'll see you guys in the next video.